हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति सो टुडे इज डे सेवन आज हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं वन आर ऑफ इंटेंस योगा इन माई रेगुलर सेशन लाइक द ऑफलाइन वंस जनरली क्लासेज वन आवर की ही होती हैं तो आज की जो क्लास है उसमें मैंने इंटेंसिटी भी उसी तरीके की रखी है डिटेल्ड डिस्क्रिप्शन भी है आज जो नया पॉस्चर इंक्लूड किया है वो है ट्राईपॉड हेड स्टैंड तो आई वुड वॉन्ट टू टेल बिगिनर्स दैट मेक श्योर यू डोंट पुश योर सेल्फ टू मच बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली इन द वेरी फर्स्ट को यू माइट नॉट बी एबल टू अचीव द पॉस्चर बट विद प्रैक्टिस यू विल सो आई हैव गिवन यू बेसिक वेरिएशन स्टिक टू द बेसिक वेरिएशन डोंट रश इन टू द पॉस्चर गो ईजी विद योर प्रैक्टिस तो अगर आप बिगिनर हो और आप इन्वर्जन फर्स्ट टाइम ट्राई कर रहे हो तो अपना एक्सपीरियंस मेरे साथ कमेंट सेक्शन में शेयर जरूर करना सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सिट कंफर्टेबली इन एनी सीटेड पॉस्चर spine uplifted shoulders completely relaxed join the tip of the thumb to the tip of index finger back of the hand resting on your knees keeping your chin parallel to the floor close your eyes become aware of your breath leave all the thoughts at this moment entire focus is on your breath transfer your awareness to eyebrow center setting the intention for today's class tell yourself what you want to achieve from this practice is it emotional strength mental strength or physical strength Turn your palms to the chest center. First, take a deep breath in. Exhale out completely. We'll go for one round of Om Chant. Inhale. Gentle blink. Open your eyes. Namaste. Slowly get onto your floors. Your fingers wide open. The wrist comes right under your shoulder. Wrist shoulder in one line. Knee hip in one line. Tuck your toes. and take your knees an inch off breathe there 1 2 3 and 5 now down with facing dog 1 2 3 you if you want you can pedal your legs here because this is your first down dog you can find length in your spine bend one knee straighten the other leg 2 3 4 slowly get back and make sure your knees should not touch the floor knees an inch off breathe 1 2 3 4 and 5 down facing dog 
street there. One, two, three, four, and five. Last round. Knees down, but they are not touching the floor. And chin away from the chest. Look ahead. Breathe. One, two. Entire weight is on your palms and your toes. Three, four, and five. Get back to downward facing dog. Five deep breaths in down dog. One, two, three, four, and five. Look forward in between your palms. Exhale out completely. Now. Bring your right foot forward outside of your right palm. Drop your left knee down. Sink down with your right hand. Push your right knee out to the right side and look up. Breathe there. One, two, three, four. And five. Center. Tuck your left toes, send your right leg back. Now bring your left foot forward outside of your left palm. Drop your right knee down, release your right toes. With your left hand, push your left knee out, look up. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Center, palms down, tuck your right toes, send your left leg back, downward facing dog. Five deep breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we'll go for side plank. Coming onto your right palm and the outer edge of right foot. Bend your left leg. Place it in front of you and extend your left arm up. If comfortable, look up at your left thumb. If you are absolutely fine in this particular posture, what you can do is, I mean, to make it challenging, you can stack your left foot over the right. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly back to downward facing dog. Amazing practice to build arm strength. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the other side, coming onto your left palm, and the outer edge of left foot. Bend your right leg, place it in front of you. Extend your right arm up, looking up at your right thumb. Breathe there. Very comfortable, take your right leg back and stack it on your left. One, two, three, four, and five. Gently right palm back, downward facing dog. We'll be holding five deep breaths in downward facing dog. If you are tired, you can drop your knees down and relax in child pose. One, two, 
थ्री फोर एंड फाइव नाउ द सेकेंड राउंड ऑफ सेम प्रैक्टिस बट विद अ डिफरेंट वेरिएशन कमिंग ऑन टू योर राइट फार्म आउटर एज ऑफ राइट फुट नाउ दिस टाइम टेक योर लेफ्ट लेग एंड लेफ्ट अप एक्सटेंड ब्रीथ देर वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव बैक टू योर लेफ्ट पार्म डाउनवर्ड फेसिंग डॉग थ्री फोर एंड फाइव ऑन टू योर लेफ्ट पार्म coming on to the outer edge of left foot bend your right place it in front of you you can stick to the basic version only if you are very comfortable go for this one 1 2 3 4 and 5 to down with facing dog and now drop your knees down big toes together spread your knees wide mat width apart and walk your palms forward either you can stay like this i mean try keeping your buttocks close to your heels if you are losing that touch between your buttocks and your heels stay there very comfortable they are still in touch you can walk your palms forward and put your forehead down but make sure this touch should be there heels and buttocks in touch breathe Slowly get back, knees together, onto your fours. Now from here, tuck your toes down with facing dog, feet together. Taking your right leg up to the ceiling, keeping your hips square. Breathe. One, two. Three, four, and five. Gently bring your knee close to the chest and your right foot forward in between your palms. Slowly come up to high lunge and breathe. One, two, three, four. and five palms down send your right leg back to downward facing dog feet together take your left leg up to the ceiling keeping your hips square breathe there one two three four and 5 knee to the chest and left foot in between your palms high lunge extend breathe there 1 2 3 and 5 palms down send your left leg back downward facing dog we'll do the same practice one more time feet together taking your right leg up and also if you want to go a little higher come on to the toes of your left foot take your right leg little higher just make sure keeping hip square 1 2 3 4 
four and five knee to the chest right foot forward in between palms extend your arms up warrior one one two three four and five exhale palms down right leg back downward facing dog feet together and take your left leg higher coming onto your right toes right heel off left leg goes even higher one two three four and five left knee to the chest left foot in between your palm and extend your arms up one two three four and five exhale palms down and now this time bringing your right foot forward bend forward keep your knees slightly bent abdomen in touch with your thighs and now look forward leg straight hands at your waist slowly look forward knees slightly bent gently come up with an inhalation keeping your feet together we'll go for surya namaskar b feet together sink your hips down extend your arms up exhale bend forward inhale look forward palms on the floor so if you are very comfortable you can jump back otherwise simply step back chaturanga urdha mukha adho mukha bringing your right foot forward in between your palms back heel down warrior 1 we'll be holding it for 5 deep breaths comfortable look up at the root of your thumb 1 2 3 4 and 5 exhale palms down right leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha left foot forward back heel down extend sink down gaze up breathe there your back foot firmly grounded 1 2 3 4 and 5 palms down left leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha hold it there five deep breaths one two three four and 5 look forward in between your palms completely up to you whether you want to jump forward or you want to step forward if you are planning to jump forward you can keep your knees bent go down look ahead and you when you jump forward your heels should touch your buttocks like this 
इनहेल लुक फॉरवर्ड एक्सेल बेंड फॉरवर्ड इनहेल उत्कट आसना एक्सेल समस्थिति ही वन मोर राउंड विल गो फॉर सूर्य नमस्कार बी आफ्टर दिस विल गो फॉर वेरिएशन इन सूर्य नमस्कार बी फीट टूगेदर इनहेल उत्कटा एक्सेल बेंड फॉरवर्ड इनहेल लुक फॉरवर्ड completely up to you whether you want to jump back or step back if you are planning to jump back knees bent sink down elbows slightly bent so that you so that when you jump back you directly land in chaturanga dandasana and exhale out completely before jumping back urdha mukha adho mukha heels together right foot forward back heel down your back foot is 45 degree turned and just make sure of that extend 1 2 3 and 5 palms down right leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adhomukha heels together toes out left foot forward back heel down warrior 1 gaze up 1 2 3 4 and 5 palms down left leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha five deep breaths look forward in between your palms exhale out completely either step back i mean one by one either bring your feet forward or jump forward. exhale bend forward inhale utkatasana exhale samasthiti now we'll go for variations in surya namaskar b keep your feet together inhale utkata exhale bend forward inhale look forward palms on the floor step back to chaturanga dandasana urdhva mukha adho mukha feet together in adho mukha and take your right leg up to the ceiling breathe there 1 2 3 4 and 5 right knee to the right elbow breathe 1 2 3 4 5 back take it higher right knee to the chest and breathe One, two, three, four, five. Back. Right knee to the left elbow, and breathe. It's a twist. One, two, three, four, five, and back. Right foot forward in between your palms, and now walk your fingertips forward. Take your back leg off. Look up. Comfortable. Palms to the chest center. Still comfortable. Extend. 
warrior three. One, two, three, four, and five. Back leg down there itself, palms down, either side of right foot, send your right leg back. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Feet together, left leg up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, and five. Left knee to the left elbow and breathe. One, two, three, four, and five. Back. Left knee to the chest and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Back. Left knee to the left right elbow. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Back. Left foot forward in between your palms. Walk your fingertips forward. Back leg off. Find the balance first. Palms to the chest center. Comfortable. Extend. One, two, three, four, and five. Back leg down. Palms down. Send your right, send your left leg back. Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Hold it there. One, two, three, four, and five. Look in between your palms. Step forward or jump forward. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, Ut Utkata. Exhale, Samasthiti. Next round with variation. Feet together, top of the mat. Inhale, Utkata. Exhale, bend forward. Inhale, look forward. Palms on the floor, step back or jump back to Chaturanga. Urdhva Mukha. Adho Mukha. Feet together. Take your right leg up to the ceiling and this time you can stay on your left toes. Get higher. One. Hips again square only. Two. Three. Four. And five. Now, bringing your right foot forward in between your palms, walk your fingertips forward ahead of your right foot take your back leg higher higher as much as you can very comfortable bring your fingertips in line with your right foot place your palms down if you are still comfortable still comfortable with your right hand grab your right ankle taking your back leg higher standing split one two Three, four, and five. Back leg down, palms down. Send your right leg back. Chaturanga, Urdhva Mukha, Adho Mukha. Feet together. Onto your right toes. Left leg goes higher. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Inhale, look forward and bring your left foot forward. Walk your fingertips forward and take your right leg 
higher once you are comfortable fingertips in line with your left foot palms down still comfortable with your left hand grab your left ankle and work on taking your right leg higher breathe there one two three four and five inhale look forward exhale out completely right leg back and send your left leg back chaturanga urdhva mukha adho mukha and hold one two three four and five inhale look forward exhale out completely up to you whether you want to jump forward or step forward exhale bend forward inhale utkata exhale samasthiti spread your legs wide release your hands palms facing the front observe your breath connect with your breath lengthen your breath deepen your breath Gently bring your feet together, moving to the center of the mat. Sit down onto your toes. Both the knees out. Heels going higher. Toes coming closer. Walk your fingertips forward. Lengthen your spine. biceps in line with your ears breathe there 1 2 3 4 and 5 walk your fingertips back we are going for a bound butterfly toes closer heels higher try maintaining the balance If you are comfortable, palms to the chest center, and breathe. We'll do two variations of this pose. Make sure your gaze is fixed at one point. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. The other variation. joining the tip of the thumb to the tip of index finger back of the hand resting on your knees breathe 1 2 3 4 and 5 fingertips down knees together and sit back Now the next posture is looks like chakrasana but in a different way we'll go for chakrasana today doing the crab pose so from seating seated posture only we get into the pose place your left palm behind your left hip heels close to your buttocks not they are not sticking to your buttocks just close right palm in front of your chest and now slowly lift your buttocks off off and drop your right hand back you can stick to this posture but if you are very very comfortable try rotating your left wrist for chakrasana and drop your right palm down breathe there 1 2 3 
टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव स्लोली गेट बैक दी अदर साइड सेम पॉस्चर placing your right palm behind your right hip left palm in front of your chest press your right palm into the ground and taking your left hand off it's not mandatory that you have to get into chakrasana you can stay with your left hand off the floor taking it off you can stay here and breathe here only if you feel very comfortable then only try rotating your right wrist and get into chakrasana One, two, three, four, and five. Slowly get back. Now we'll go for proper Urdhva Dhanurasana, and today we'll try lifting one leg off. and by chance the posture doesn't come for you urdhva dhanurasana in that case you can go for setu bandhasana i'll tell you the variation just lie down on your spine those of you are sticking to setu bandhasana this is the variation grab your heels lift your buttocks off breathe there those of you are going for chakrasana or urdhva dhanurasana place your palms under your shoulders lift up still comfortable take your right foot off and breathe one two three four and five down chin to the chest and drop Now for the second round try taking your left leg off and by chance you are there in urdhva dhanurasana and you are not able to take your uh, leg off in that case try maintaining the balance on three limbs and work on taking the other foot off slightly off you don't need to take it higher slightly off is good enough now for the left leg One, two, three, four, and five. Drop chin to the chest and release. Hug your knees to the chest. Do some rocking. Nicely up and down. Massage your spine. Now simply sit up. Right knee pointing up. Drop your right knee to the right side. Take your right heel close to the groin. Grab your left foot, left to left toes flex towards you. Grab your shin, ankle wherever you can reach. It's completely fine. Inhale lengthen your spine. exhale bend forward using your right hand you can grab your left wrist and in whichever variation you are of uh, janu shirshasana just make sure you are looking at your toes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 5 inhale look up exhale out completely now the same leg same leg same knee pointing up interlock your fingers outside of your left foot and try straightening this leg 
read there. One, two, three. Look at your big toe. Flex your left toes for a good stretch. Four and five. Release the other leg. Stretch your right leg out. Bend your left. Left heel goes close to the groins, making the right angle. Grab your right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bend forward. This time with your left hand, grab your right wrist. Otherwise, simply grab your, grab the outer edge of right foot. One. All of you are looking at your toes, right toes. Two. Three. Four. And five. Inhale, look up. Exhale out completely. Release. Right knee pointing up. Interlock your fingers outside of right foot and try straightening this leg. Breathe there. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. And now the next posture is Urdhva Paschimottanasana. Grabbing the outer edge of your feet, bringing your thigh close to your abdomen, slightly lean back, taking your feet off, and then once you are comfortable, take your legs higher, slowly legs higher. Breathe there. Gaze at your big toe. One. If your legs are bent, it's completely fine. Two. Three. Four. And five. Release. Now we'll go for a twist. Straighten your left leg. Place your right foot outside of your left knee with your left hand hug your right knee to the chest right hand back and twist very comfortable place your elbow outside of your right thigh and twist inhale center exhale release the other side straighten your right leg bend your left placing your left foot outside of your right knee use your right hand to hug your left knee to the chest left hand back and twist comfortable right elbow outside of your left thigh twist two three, four, and five. Inhale, exhale, release. Next posture is inversion. So if you have never tried inversion before, go very easy with the practice and don't expect yourself getting into the position in the very first go it's absolutely fine agar first time mein aapko posture nahi aata hai it's absolutely okay it's absolutely okay just give an attempt and also make sure that you are following correct alignments Keep your fingers wide open, shoulder width apart. You'll place the crown of your head down ahead of your hands. Just make sure you are not placing your crown in between your palms. So it's a headstand uh, preparation. 
so you have to make sure that you have to place the crown ahead of your palms making that triangle like this so stay there beginners can stick to this posture and uh, feel your weight on the crown of your head this is step one stay there five deep breaths now step two tuck your toes and take your knees off you'll feel even more weight on your crown one two three four and five drop your knees down relax in child pose catch your breath fingers wide open if you are following the alignments correctly it is completely safe just make sure if you have high blood pressure then you can skip this practice finger wide open crown of your head down tuck your toes knees off very comfortable walk your feet forward now we'll stay here for five deep breaths One, two, three, four, and five. If you have never done inversion before, then you would be feeling a lot of weight on your crown, and it is absolutely fine. So, if you will practice it regularly, if you will practice it regularly, you will get used to, and then you will not feel too much of weight. It will be. easy for you to take weight on your crown now we'll get into the final pose with a lot of preparation we are already done with a lot of preparation now we'll get into the pose fingers wide open crown down tuck your toes knees off walk your feet forward right knee on your right upper arm left knee on your left upper arm breathe there One, two, three, four, and five. Then slowly release. Now, those of you who are doing good in this posture can go further deeper. Okay, so we'll go even deeper, and. Uh, those of you could not get into the pose stick to the basic variation simply stay there feel the weight on the crown and then tuck your toes take your knees off feel how the weight is increasing on the crown of your head we you just go very easy with the practice with regular practice it will come for sure regular practitioners will go further deeper in the practice walk your feet forward knees on your upper arms and now slowly taking your knees off knees to the chest make sure you breathe there 1 2 3 and 5 then gently take your one leg up and the other leg up 1 2 3 4 and 5 the way you got into the pose same way you have to release knees to the chest first one by one legs on your upper arms and then slowly you drop you can relax in child pose
so you may feel a lot of pressure on your neck it's absolutely fine now sit comfortably in padmasana if you can otherwise go for ardha padmasana this is ardha padmasana half lotus you can sit in this posture or if you are very comfortable go for full padmasana just close your eyes and observe your breath stick your chin to the chest lengthen spine gaze at your nose tip Twenty five deep breaths here. Close your eyes, release your legs. Shavasana. Spread your legs wide, mat width apart, toes falling either side of the body, palms facing up to the ceiling, fingers naturally curl. Allow your armpits also to breathe. Do not hold on to any tension, just relax and let go. by chance your lower back hurts you can keep your legs bent your knees pointing up to the ceiling you are good with your lower back released legs extended legs in shavasana With every inhalation feel the expansion of your abdomen with every exhalation abdomen is sinking down into the mat observe this abdominal movement while breathing there is no tension in your body entire body is completely relaxed gently bring your awareness back to the body gentle movement in your fingers and your toes slowly move your head left right bringing your feet together extend your arms up over your head interlock your fingers give a nice stretch from top to toes bend your left knee rolling on to the right side
आई एम श्योर आप लोगों ने आज की प्रैक्टिस इन्जॉय की होगी वन आवर का इंटेंस सेशन था टेक गुड रेस्ट अगर आपको अलाइनमेंट में कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है तो आप मेरे साथ शेयर कर सकते हो अपना एक पिक्चर या फिर वीडियो इंस्टाग्राम या फिर फेसबुक पर आई डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू विद द करेक्शन कल हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करने वाले हैं आसन एंड प्राणायाम सो टिल देन ईट वेल स्लीप वेल टेक केयर नमस्ते